You guys asked for it. The Balloon Animal Series is back. Pumpkins, they're everywhere. Pumpkin spice latte. So why not make a pumpkin balloon? Pumpkin balloons. It's a thing. Hey guys, Ray Pahar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today we're going to be making a balloon animal pumpkin. If you guys checked out our last balloon animal, which was how to make the balloon animal dog, this is a continuation of that playlist. I figured since it's fall and pretty much there's pumpkins everywhere, why not make uh, pumpkins out of balloon animals? Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include a balloon pump, one orange 260 balloon, one green 260 balloon, scissors, and some Sharpie markers. First, take your balloon and inflate it, giving it about two to three solid pumps so that you have about six to eight inches worth of balloon. Next, tie your balloon Pinch and twist one circle, and then using your other hand, create another pinch and twist. Take the top and combine it to that other pinch and twist. Set your balloon aside. Next, take your orange balloon and inflate it about two thirds of the way so that you have about five to six inches worth of balloon at the end. Tie your balloon. To soften your balloon, squeeze it. Take the first part of the balloon and twist it so that you have about four inches worth of balloon. Twist it into the first part of your green balloon. To create the next segment of your pumpkin, take your orange balloon and twist it so that it's the same size as your first orange piece. Using the tip of your balloon, twist it and knot it under so that it stays in place. It's important to use a twist to keep it in place. Continue to make more segments of your balloon by twisting it to the top and then back to the bottom of your pumpkin. Squeeze a little bit of your orange balloon so that it continues to stay soft. When you're twisting the orange balloon into the base of your pumpkin, remember to tie it into the tip so that it holds in place. Continue to make segments of your pumpkin by twisting back to the top and then back to the bottom. Remember to also twist your pumpkin to the green portion of your balloon. When you've created all the segments of your pumpkin, twist the remaining parts of your balloon at the bottom of your pumpkin and then hide the rest of it inside the pumpkin. To shape your pumpkin, go ahead and squeeze the tops and the bottom of your pumpkin so that it becomes more round like a pumpkin. To create the rest of your stem, go ahead and create two circles by pinching and twisting. And then twist it to the top of your pumpkin. Next, create a third set of circles by pinching and twisting the green balloon. Twist that into the top of your, your stem. Take the remaining parts of your green balloon and then twist it so that it's in the center of your stem. Depending on the amount of stem that you want for your pumpkin, you're going to create a pinch and twist, and then you're going to squeeze out the remaining air from the rest of your unwanted stem. Take your scissors, and while holding your pinch and twist at the top of your stem, go ahead and cut off the rest of your stem. While using one hand to hold the rest of the air in, create a knot so that the air doesn't escape. 
Take your scissors and cut off the rest of the unwanted part of your stem. And you have your pumpkin. As an optional step, you can go ahead and take your Sharpie and draw some eyes and a mouth on your pumpkin. After you've drawn your face onto your pumpkin, you are officially done with this project. You could either go ahead and make a bunch of other pumpkins and draw other silly faces, or you could just leave it blank. Um, if you do make this project, make sure you share it on my Facebook page, on my Instagram, or on Twitter using the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag so I can check it out and give you guys a shout out later on in a future video. Uh, make sure you check out the last few videos in our fall series, and hopefully you guys make this project. Thanks again for watching, and come back next time.